Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, in this creative short, we will make a pocket window tag with another little tag spot um, or pocket spot, I should say. So I hope you enjoy this uh, creative short. And in today's creative short, I will uh, use uh, papers designed and produced by Kelly's Craft. Um, she made a call for a design team and I'm lucky enough to be part of this. So I'm very pleased to use her papers. They are gorgeous and I can't wait to show you what I come up with. I hope you'll join me. See you soon after the intro. Okay, so I am very excited. I pre-cut the papers because this these are creative shorts, so I'm hoping to keep them short. The only paper that is not by Kelly's Craft is this one. This was an ephemera that I had um, from I don't know what kit. I mean, there are many that look just alike. Um, I do need this to put this beautiful, look at that, isn't she pretty? And there's other beautiful pictures just like it in her kit. This is just like a few, obviously there's many, many. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Look at these beautiful pictures. Any one of them would have been gorgeous, but, and I love the mom and daughter. It's just beautiful, but I decided to go with the little girl. So, um, yes, I just need the back of this and you'll see why. Um, this is also part of her papers and this as well. And, uh, well, how about we just get started? So first, we'll create the outside of the tag. So I pre-cut these. I think they're really beautiful size. I'm very pleased with that. So I will use this to make the tags. So I'm going to make sure to cut on each side and then I will put the eyelet and I will glue it and then I'll be back in normal speed. So for this, I'm going to fast forward the process for you. So now I will glue just a portion because I want to leave an opening and this is why I have two, right? So I don't want, I could have left the, the back blank and used something that had no image. I just thought it'd be nice if both sides had their own interest. Um, and also because there's line on this design, it just so happens that you could still journal on the back if you wanted or not, because there'll be a pocket with another card. So we're going to start by that part. So I'm going to glue this together. Now I'm going to put an eyelet on the top, just here. But first I want to see something. I want to see if I'll have to wait till I put the outer frame and, hmm, I think I'm going to have to wait before I put the eyelet. So first I'm going to use my frame punch board. Um, I know not everybody has one, I understand that, but you can also just draw a square and decide how big you want your frame to be. So for me, um, I wish I could, um, how do you say, uh, link this, like put it in my description box. Um, unfortunately, I I bought this, I purchased this at Michael's here in Canada. So I don't even know if they have this on Amazon, but you could probably, you know what? I'm gonna try and see if I can find one similar and then I'll link it. So let's do the frame for this 
first. So now that the frame is done, we will make the window. So as you know, maybe, <laughs> I keep some packaging exactly for that purpose. So I'm going to cut the packaging so that it fits my window. And I cut a very, very thin part of this because um, well very thin for this because it just so happens that it's pretty much the perfect size but it will give me two for you know next one I decide to make so I just love the, those packages the result is fabulous and let me show you I made another video about a window uh, pocket but this is a window pocket tag slash pocket again so as you can see I have two so I'm going to put this one aside I really really love those packaging I don't waste them although it's not like I'm going to run out because I do tend to order a tiny bit too much but that's another subject for another day <laughs> okay so what you want to do here I use double-sided tape you can also use glue but you're just going to glue on this side So now I'm going to glue the window. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take my tag and I'm going to glue it to my tag. Just be careful not to glue this side because you want to be able to slide something in this window. Okay, so, oops, sorry for the camera. I'm going to put glue on here, here, and there. Okay, so now I will glue, and this part has no sticky double-sided double, double -sided tape, so I will glue this right, let me see where I want it, I want it right, now the thing is, the tape doesn't allow for any mistake, so make sure of the placement before you start pressing, because now see, I think it's a little crooked and there's nothing I can do about it. It's a little crooked. It's okay, but if, you know, I can't really unglue it, it's going to rip. That's what happens with double-sided tape. Glue is more forgiving, but it's fine. This is just, you know, a project here that I want to show you. And I'm sure at the end it won't matter much. So I'm going to cut the excess right here. And I'm going to ink the edges once more okay so now I will go ahead and put my eyelet right here I love this kit I've talked about it numerous times I love 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 it I does this is one of the best purchases ever I had a, I have a few purchases that I just simply love and I will never regret and this is just one of them. Am I in the middle here? Yes, I am. Okay, I will go put my eyelet and be 
right back. Actually, I realized I never explained how this works. It's super easy. I just put... Look, I'm going to show you. I just put this part, you know, the bigger part. I just... Like this part. I put it here. Then I'm going to put this piece in here and then this you put down on a hard surface and then this tiny little finishing part right around that and then you have this tool right here that you put like so and then you hammer it down and that's it so I'll be right back okay so the eyelid is put um, I have this piece of fabric I used for a journal I'm working on. I uh, just want to see if I have enough to make that, you know, a little something there for the tag. Let me see. Maybe it's too short. Hold on, I'm a little too close. I'm going to give everybody a headache. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I don't know if it's too short, if it looks good or not. Don't see much of the. Well, I guess it's okay. Yeah, it's nice. I have sari ribbon I could have used. I have all kinds, but just for this, we're not gonna dwell on it for too too long. So now we're gonna work, and I'm gonna show the effect after. We're gonna work on what we're gonna put inside our window. So this beautiful little girl, I think she's adorable. Um, I'm thinking I don't want to go too heavy on the dark so it's already pretty dark so I'm thinking for this little girl the white cheesecloth underneath would be nice I have lace I don't know if the lace would look I don't think we'd see much of it let me see here what I have so I did find lace just want to see here so of course I would cut it, but it would come out a tiny bit. I do like my cheesecloth. You know, if you've watched me before, how much I love it and I put it everywhere, whether it's white or coffee stained. Let me see if for this one, the lace would be better. So I would probably just have to put the lace this way. And then I think it's also very nice and delicate for this kind of picture i think for once i'm gonna go with the lace so i'm gonna cut the lace Okay, so I trimmed a tiny bit more so it fit better in the pocket. Um, I think it would be nice to add a tab just so we could pull it out. You can use a tab that was actually designed to be a tab like so. You can use a piece of paper that you have, fold it, and then you can cut it to the size you want, and then you can just glue on each side like so decorate you can do whatever you want for a tab you can take a circle and fold it in two and you got yourself a tab the tab a tab is at least is really the least of your problems it's really easy to create one I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of I think cheesecloth because I find that it's a little harsh yes that's gonna be perfect so oh, let me just make sure I'm in frame so I will glue my tab first like so okay I'm gonna choose the side this side I could have chosen the other where you can write something but I just prefer this side maybe I went a little maybe I exaggerated here with the glue <laughs> I always do no surprise there I'm gonna put some cheesecloth just to 
I don't know if you know what I mean by harsh. It's just a straight line and I prefer the subtlety there. I hope I make sense here. Makes sense to me. <laughs> okay, and I want to decorate a tiny bit more. So I'm going to put some over here. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame again. I really love cheesecloth. It just fits with the vintage feel and, you know, I don't know, run, is it run down the word? Like, you know, old, just old and something that's been manipulated over the years. I just love it. I think this would look pretty with her. Yes, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna glue this. There we go. Oh, like, see, I like that. This is really pretty. There, I'm gonna let it dry. So this would be the, I, I just wanna let it dry before I slide it in because I have a feeling it might not be a good idea right now. I'm just gonna finish this tag and the pocket and then we'll wrap this up so now we're going to work on this i think this also deserves some decoration i am thinking of a word that i found i like that word and just to replicate um the picture we're going to put a tiny bit of cheesecloth on this as well oops the tape came with me it's glued to my scissors hold on okay so I'm thinking, um, let me cut some here and a tiny piece there. I'm thinking a tiny bit here. Why not? Oh, you know what? Wait now, I just seen something. How about before I do that, I use one of my new stickers and put it right here. Oh yes. Okay. Let me do that. Okay, so I think it would look perfect right here. Like so. Everything is in, it's translucent, right? So you have the pocket here, right? And these stickers are also translucent. So I think it's the right word. And I'm going to put some of this here again for subtlety. I just like the effect and it re it reminds or it recalls what was done on this. Okay, so this is our tag. I think we should put something in the back. So I'm thinking of one, another like this. It's different color, but it recalls the one we put in the front. So it's just nice that it's not completely blank. I could have went with, I don't know, maybe greenery. I have a lot, I just got I did a product review actually on these. Um, this is nice too. I could put this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. Why not? Just to be a little different. Let me see. I'm going to show you without the glare. There you go. So let me glue this on. Okay, so it's glued on now. Even the back of this tag looks fabulous. I love how you see this from the front. You could also put some in the back obviously it's really up to you so now this is our front and this is what we created to go inside i did make one mistake and that's okay because it will prevent you from making the same and you'll see it maybe you won't i don't know first let's just see how beautiful this is is it just me or isn't this just gorgeous 
and I love it because you have a tiny tab to pull it out and when you do put it pull it out you still have the beautiful paper by Kelly in the background and because I got this sticker everything is in transparency and everything is soft and subtle and I just love it and the only mistake I made and I'll, I'll, I don't know if you'll see is I shouldn't have glued the frame on this side to the edge here I should have glued it to the outer edge so that this goes inside a little further and more in the middle of this so but other than that I still think it looks fine and I love because we decorated this right and when we put it in you see it through the window and everything matches beautifully so this is a pocket window tag and not only do you have the pocket where you put this beautiful picture but remember I said not to glue this part so now you can make a card or use this is not from Kelly but it's just a card I had laying around um, and there you go now you have another and I put this so I think everything fits beautifully and the back is gorgeous as well because we chose a back that had an image um, so this is the back this is the front this is in this pocket right there so journaling space here a beautiful picture and of course journaling space here and when you take it out it's just still fabulous it's just I love the subtlety of these stickers in the window I'm thinking I might make a few of these actually and there you go I hope you've enjoyed this project as much as I have it's my first pocket window tag slash pocket <laughs> and I think it's really nice and you know what the good thing is is it's still pretty thin so in a journal I mean it will add some bulk like any pocket tag you would have but not as much as I would have expected so I really hope you've enjoyed this project I hope it inspires you and thank you Kelly Watson for your beautiful beautiful papers I will link her um, Etsy shop for the papers and her Facebook group and I really hope you enjoyed this creation and I hope to see you soon bye <laughs> bye bye